Today on the Rife Rundown, we recap the final month of the 2023 tour. Not to mention recapping the best of the best from the 2023 season. All that and more right now on the Rife Rundown. That ball is annihilated on the money in time. And the ball's on fire. Wow. These guys are out of their minds. Back flipping makes the catch. Oh, what a cannon. Oh, a new trick added to the arsenal. A colossal flash. Are you kidding me? Welcome in, everybody, to the seventh and final episode of the Ripe Rundown, loved by our dear friends over at Zappos. That is your star pitcher, Cowboy Kyle Luigs, and I am Biko Scali, your broadcast entertainer. Kyle, 33 cities, 21 states, 87 games across seven months, and son of a gun, it all came down to Cooperstown. That it did, and I will not cry because it's over. I will simply smile because it happened. That is a very w good way to uh, approach things there, Kyle. It's very mature of you. Uh, okay, so the way we're going to do this, we are going to break down what happened in September. Then we're going to run through the best of the best, bring it all around town from the entire tour. But as I mentioned, September 1st in what we call the Banana Ball Brief. We kick it off on September 1st in Savannah. Ryan Cox out to Reese Hampton. Oh my gosh, when did that guy learn to backflip and make a catch at the same time? It's at Chapman doing his best Robin Williams impersonation. We had a goose or a duck. I think that's a duck, actually. It's not from Affleck, I don't think. But it looks a whole lot like him. No, that duck is named Paul. That was Joe Lytle absolutely smashing a home run and Sean Fluke, pure domination. Three straight complete games for the party animals, but they still have to win seven in a row to win the tour. That's probably not going to happen, right? D Strange Gordon getting in on the action. We got to hang out with the Major League Baseball Players Alumni Association for the final time this year. And how about DR Meadows getting a pitch from center field and a strike on George Kataris? How about Brian Lattrell making his banana ball debut? That was quite a surprise. And we had some great plays out in the field as well. Michael Deeb getting dirty and Curtis Granderson. Not a better guy we could have had as the final manager for the major leaguer. Probably the best, if not the best thing that I've ever seen in my life was that challenge that Curtis Granderson had on that call and overturning it. Reese, who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, it's recent. Assembly call. Whoa. So we call breaking moves right there from Reese Hampton. Now we go to the bottom of the ninth on Monday, September 4th. And golly, that thing almost snuck out of the ballpark and would have won the tour for the bananas, but the party animal's still alive. So we go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where Kevin Millar, the legendary 1-5, bounces the first pitch that counts. We got Matt Wolf trying to go backwards, and instead it's going to be Drew Gillespie making a fine barehanded snag on the mound, and then Dylan Porter in the ninth shutting it down. That means it was four straight, check that, five straight wins for the party animals, but they still had to win four more in a row to win the tour. That's probably not going to happen, right? And Ah, oh, that is so cute. There is the aforementioned Emily Cole sending Noah Bridges off to school. Matt Wolf getting some help from his sister hiding out in the rodeo clown barrel there, and they're going to team up for a strike. Malachi Mitchell carbo loading at first base, and he's still got all that food in his mouth as he scores an inning winning run. Keep track of this for Dustin Baber. That is three trick plays, now four. That one was a doozy. There is number five. Yeah, we're counting them, babes. Don't worry. And that was stilts at the dish. Bouncer to Acuff, who bounces it to Baber between the legs. That is a banana ball record. Six trick plays for an individual in a ball game. And let's turn it over to Ryan Kellogg doing his best Napoleon Dynamite. Favorite thing that I've seen all year long on the tour. I mean, it was like four and a half minutes. What felt like an hour worth of dancing. You're not seeing the same thing twice. That is how both games of the doubleheader ended with slow tappers to Bryson Bloomer. So the party animals sweep Milwaukee. Now they are two games away from winning the tour. We got Nick Allo out there with our first ever lax pitcher in the crown jewel of lacrosse, Syracuse, New York. The party animals would come back and win that one four to three. And we go to Cooperstown where you had one of the cooler situations in your life. tell you, you can't do something. You got a dream. You gotta protect it. The Savannah Bananas are all of me. Being a part of the ribbon cutting ceremony as well as being inducted into the Hall of Fame is just something that every baseball player grows up wishing to have done in their career and it was just, it was very, very special. And to Double Day Field we go. The 69th and final battle of the season between the party animals and bananas. Hall of Famer Ted Simmons on hand. Oh my gosh, that is Zach Phillips traded spots with Matt Wolf and he makes a diving catch. Mike Vivesis though, 
with a huge shot, winning an inning for the Animals. Noah Bridges is gonna go Yabaruni. Dan Oberts fighting back. It is now two to one as we go to the ninth. Lee Smith, the Hall of Fame closer, gets a strike. He leaves Jason Swan with a one-one count. We go to the bottom half and Dylan Porter strikes out Dalton Malden to complete the epic comeback. The Party Animals win nine straight elimination games to take the tour. And that is a sad Cowboy Kyle Lewigs at the end of it all. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of cool memories made and a lot of lessons learned over those 87 games. And a lot of stats stood out along the way. Um, I know that makes Joshua Tulefsky happy um, off screen. And now we're going <laughs> to deep dive into the banana stats on over, encompassing the whole tour. Okay, let me take the wheel here, Kyle. Your MPI king is going to be DJ the Invader. How about that? Trick play king, nobody even close. In fact, Coxie with 111 more than second place on the team. EJ drives in more runs than anyone else. And Dan Oberst for the second straight tour leads the bananas in batting average. When it comes to the bad boys of Banana Land who finish one game better at the end of it all, the Greek god of MPI, Brett Helton, nobody close to his three minutes and 14 seconds he averaged per inning. Dustin Baber, you could say the same about his 93 trick plays. Bryson Bloomer edges out Jake Skull by one in that very tight ribeye race. And Reese Hampton, the top batting average on the tour. He was incredible. Yeah, no surprise there to see Reese Hampton at the top of the average leaderboard. I hated um, just about every time he walked up to the plate <laughs> against me. And uh, you touched on it a couple times. Um, the MPIs atop the boards for both the teams. But I wanted to point out um, just I know how tough it is to go out there and try and get three outs physically as fast as you can while performing and entertaining for all the fans that we covered across those 87 games. Now the leader here and the only one breaking the minute mark is DJ the Invader at 57 seconds. Brett Helton, the Greek MPI god here, he's <laughs> mentioned twice at 111 and then he would do it again on 99 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and then in fourth and fifth behind him we have Christian Electric Deerman at 113 and Fluky holding it down to 114. Well, Kyle, obviously, as we come back in here to historic Grayson Stadium, not the storybook ending for you guys as the Bananas dropping nine straight and uh, closing down 69 games against the party animals, and they only won 34, 33, and two. It's, in, it's insane how close it was at the end. Yeah, definitely, and I mean, huge shout out to their pitching. I mean, they got the job done, whether it was the starters or um, those guys coming in late in the games, Porter, um, Gillespie even coming in at, at times. It was, it was really cool to see them do that, and um, you know, hats off to them. Excited to play them next year. Yeah, that is a fact. The party animals, the kings of the first full season of Banana Ball, and let's get into some of the best of the best throughout this tour. It is time for your potassium pack to play. Uh, king of Dublin, Georgia, as this one is popped. In foul territory, Vava racing after it, sliding, makes a tumbling catch. Mike Vavasis saves the inning for the party animals. Another look at the tumbling snag from Vava, who rolls into the bats of his team. That was incredible. A 407 batting average against Kyle Lewis on the season but he leads all players with batting average with runners in scoring position. Although Danny Hosley is going to make a great play at second base and yet another defensive gem, whether he is in right field or at second base, he can do it all. Full extension, face slamming against the grass and throwing it first from his knees. Gets up to Brandon Pugh to keep this game going. That one tapped to Phillips, sliding, throwing. In time! The Bananas take care of the Fairy Hawks. Two points to one. Unbelievably athletic play there from Zach Phillips. Dakota McFadden on the other end. How often he was running, but he was not caught. A great job. A two strike hitting Reese Hampton to right center. DR Meadows full extension. He caught it. Firing it back to first. Double play. Oh, the doctor with a stupendous full extension grab. He'll get two outs for the price of one. Oh, my gosh. The most incredible defensive double play that we have seen all season. Banana on the first pitch slider. Now he gets a fastball, pops it right side, breaking in hard. Full extension dive. Amazing catch by Dylan Brazel. Robs a base hit. What an unbelievable play from Dylan Brazel out in right field. See from Jared Donaldson is that he was able to get ahead from Thomas 1-2 as this one is chopped up the middle. And Cox 360 will throw home and gun out Reese Hampton going for the play. What an incredible play. It took a perfect play from Coxie 
to nail the speedy center fielder for the party animals. The tour in batting average. And oh, oh my God! Kyle oh my Lewis God! Between the legs! What a play! ESPN, better be watching. How about those reflexes from Cowboy Kyle? That was a dazzling snag. Wow. You're telling me, are you <laughs> kidding me? Kyle Wooing for... That one bounce, diving stop, Chase Acuff to his feet across the diamond. In time, are you kidding me? Acuff dazzles with the glove. And Fluke Colt serve once again. An unreal play from Chase Acuff. And when you make a play like that, why wouldn't you have all your teammates swarm you coming out of the dugout? According to ERA Plus, this is the best pitcher in Banana Land is Michael Deeb sends that deep out to left. Jake Skull leaping, crashing into the wall, and coming away with the banana ball. Fantastic catch. What an absurd catch by Jake Skull, ranging out towards that warning track, crashing up against the wall, and being able to hold on to the banana ball. That ball driven to dead center. D.R. Meadows on his horse. Diving attempt. What a stupendous catch! The doctor with one of the greatest plays you'll ever see from a center fielder. Are you kidding me? DR Meadows looking over his shoulder to make this catch <laughs> and laying out. Are you kidding me? DR Meadows on his horse. Diving attempt. Boy, what a stupendous catch! That was probably one of the toughest tasks of the season, was narrowing down some of the amazing defensive plays down to a top 10, but congratulations on cracking it. That between the leg snag, some people would think it was a trick play, but that was pure reaction. Yeah, thank you very much. And it was very cool to see this category, you know, kind of the true baseball shine um, versus what we do best is the trick plays and the right stuff. And it was very cool. Um, I'm very honored. That was definitely pure reactions. And um, I was scared from a screamer coming from Bryson <laughs> Bloomer. Um, you got to protect the family jewels, and that's exactly what I attempted to do. Correct. Excellent job. Obviously, DR, nobody could top him. That play in Kansas City was absolutely mind-boggling. It was Jim Edmonds 2.0. Okay, another really fun trip for us. One more time, we are taking the ride to Celebration Station. And this Celebration Station is an especially special one. Um, we're going to lead it off. All of the straws that stir the drink of the Ripe Rundown got to pick their favorites over the tour. We'll start with yours, Biko, and I absolutely hate it because I was on the mound. Yeah, I'm sorry, but boy, oh boy, am I a sucker for a slip and slide. It's one of my favorite things to take part of in life. That's why tarp sliding is one of the best moments of the year for me, even though it means we had a game rained out. But boy, oh boy. How about Reese Hampton and Brayson Bloomer getting in on the fun? We go to the Italian rap scallion Chris Sachi's pick, and oh my goodness gracious, we are in Syracuse. <laughs> getting nasty after the strikeout of Eric Jones Jr. breaking out the old red light, green light, and I have to retweet this one. This is another one of my faves. We will send it on over to Chad Reese's pick, which will be another party animal, Joe Lytle, taking a trip out to Splash Mountain out there in the pool in Las Vegas, and the boys are going to get together for Rage Cage on home plate. Yeah, that is a fact. The only homer off of stilts in his three-year banana ball career. Now we go to Zach Bro's pick, and it is the Continental Drift, which was probably one of my favorite to see rehearsed and performed. Sid the Sloth, he's got some incredible choreographed moves here. It's a staple, and when you don't know what to do, you go to what you know best, and it's that is the Continental Drift. <laughs> and we will slide over to Yvonne's pick, which I think got some repercussions whenever we were drafting him up. It is my 14-year roommate himself, Bill Roy, for a dad joke in West Virginia. Y'all know where I learned to make the best. <laughs> in Sunday school. He definitely hit it hard for all the boys. I mean, he looks like he's gonna struggle off <laughs> and back to the dugout. Yeah, we enjoyed that one. Uh, now to go to my partner's pick, Mr. Kyle Lewigs. He loved Malachi Mitchell recreating the Part of Your World song from The Little Mermaid. And how about the big splash knocks him to the ground and pure smiles from everybody involved. I mean, I think some things don't go as planned and they turned out better because they didn't turn out the way that they were supposed to. We'll send it over now, to Josh's Malachi pick. Malachi Mitchell down on the field. Malachi, you scored the game-winning run on TV. How does it feel? I 
I think it was very cool for Josh to be a part of that walkout and interviewing him. Felt like Josh and I were breaking the fourth wall there, getting in on the game action. Happy that my buddy was able to do it. And now to the Ripe Rundown crew pick. How about Tanner Tinder Thomas with that voluptuous tookus of his? He sends that one about 470 out to right center off Donnie, and he is going to take a ride on the spank train. And to end it all, we've got one from the vault that was never seen except for the live audience. It was paying homage to the Banana Sorority, originally done by myself and Bill Leroy at the front gates of Grayson Stadium. And um, that's about all I'm going to say about that one. Yeah, it was delightful. I enjoyed it. Yes, correct. Never seen before footage. You could have seen it on the broadcast as well. But, but anyhow, that's a little special one from The Vault for the People. Okay, now to check in with one of our dearest friends in all of Banana Land for Josh Talevsky's sexy September season statistical summary. Thanks, Playboys. Look, I'm going to try and slay the house boots down mama with these statistics, so you guys are really going to have to bear with me now. We saw 84 total games on our 2023 tour, 69 of which, nice, were between the bananas and the party animals. Now, when we look at the total pitches thrown between bananas and party animals pitchers, there were 20,319 pitches thrown. And how about this? Not surprising at all, it's Cowboy Kyle who had almost 2,600 all on his own leading the tour. Now let's talk about trick plays as well. 617 trick plays were performed between the Bananas and Party Animals. Almost every player who drew a start between the two squads were able to record a trick play or more, except for Alex Ziegler and Dalton Cornett. That is fantastic stuff. Now fans caught plenty of foul balls for outs, but if you want the grand total, how about 61 individual fans catching foul balls for outs and five different cities on our world tour caught three foul balls in a single game, which is the banana ball record. Now, 1,416 hits were between the bananas and party animals, and we've got to commend Reese Hampton, despite not reaching the 100 plateau, getting to 98 for the party animals, an unreal mark for Reese. And now, how about this? Four fan challenges were overturned, so we saw the fans make an impact on Banana Ball for the very first time, a very impactful rule. And we've got to talk about some Major League Baseball veterans who suited up for the Bananas. There were 17 different former MLB guys who played for the Bananas, and Lee Smith capping it off the Hall of Famer in Cooperstown, really just a cherry on top. And let's not forget about the showmans of the night. We had plenty this season, and our tour leaders, when it was all said and done, leading the way with seven showman awards, Danny Do-It-All Hosley and Eric Jones Jr. Guys, that's what I've got for you for our September Sexy Statistical Season Summary. I will throw it back to you. Whew. I don't know about you, Vico. I didn't think we were going to get through that. I didn't know if I was going to be, be able to handle it. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Um, it's steamy over here. <laughs> That's a fact. I don't think the Nats could handle it either. They're just having the time of their life tonight with us. Okay, uh, now to uh, another one of our favorites. It is time to warm the old heart with a little bit of Banana Land's Best. For every $1,000 that we raised, Brett offered to cut one inch of his hair. Tonight, we are so excited to be cutting 22 inches of Brett's hair. The hair that we cut tonight will be donated to a child in need from Wigs for Kids. We are also going to bring out Brett's mom to make another cut. Cut that hair! Cut that hair! It's been a good run, guys. Oh, there they go. Oh, and they fall so quickly. Is that tickle, Josh? This is a legendary moment in Bananas television history right here. Here you go, buddy. Here's the shaving cream. Thank you. Got you, dog. That's what I'm here for. Oh, wow. Yep. Wow, look at that guy. Oh, baby. Brett Helton, he has cut over 22 inches of hair. That's a collect over $22,000 benefiting Bananas Foster. Thank you so much, Brett. Of course, a huge shout out has to go to Jolie Shabala and Emily Cole as they were the conductors of Bananas Foster all year. And that was such a cool addition to everything we get to do in Banana Land. And we're talking about Banana Land's best, obviously a lot of the 
incredible things we got to highlight across the tour are dear and uh, our near and dear friend JJ Falcone who passed away uh, even less than two months ago still here that one still really hurts us but boy are we happy that we got to experience so much fun time with him and you add Swaggy in there Isaiah in Brockton Jaylene in Tampa getting to visit the Children's Hospital in Birmingham uh, the list goes on and on but we're, we're really lucky to have been able to have so many really cool moments on this tour yeah some very cool um, moments indeed and I think that's one of my favorite things about that segment is none of it is truly involving the game of baseball it just shows the cool platform that we have and we get to impact these people that you know normally you would never get to have those moments with those people and you never know when it's going to be their last and um, I think you know after everything considered everything that we got to do with JJ was probably one of my favorite moments of my life yeah that that's that's the one thing that really drew tears for me when we think back on this whole tour was uh, our dear friend JJ and you think of happier moments like the the wedding in Sugarland and the countless proposals that we've had there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff and we get to finish up with uh, uh, I say it a lot but another one of our favorites as we're on our final episode of the ripe rundown here it is time for the ripe stuff of course we're highlighting the best trick plays of the tour here and we did kind of put it in our own idea of an order that gives Tanner Thomas number 10 here he is going midair and behind the back all in one fell swoop in Des Moines that was a schnazzy play by Mr. Tinder Thomas yeah truly miraculous and then we'll have a three for one here from Derek Jeter no that is Dustin Baber and he is our resident trick stop over at second base and I mean the things that he can do what I imagine with a basketball but he can do some cool stuff with a banana ball yeah I'd love to see Derek Jeter go between his legs while he did his jump throws across the diamond how about Matt Wolf breaking out the cartwheel perfect momentum going into the ground ball and you know I had to immediately point to the camera because I knew that was something that we <laughs> wanted to remember and this one's so nice you're gonna get to see it twice you're gonna get to see it thrice I mean that guy had his feet pointing to the moon when he fielded that ball uh, a lot of fun to get to See that one behind you while yeah, you're around perfect. the bump. Okay, let's give some love to the pitchers. And no, it's not me, but it is two for the price of one. Behind the back catches, Zach Phillips and Dylan Porter was the first one to pull it off um, for the pitchers. And then Zach Phillips, after only being here for what, two or three weeks, yes. pulling that catch off in that situation is just mind boggling. You're back on the bump. Your battery mate for the better part of the past seven years is behind the dish, and he's going between the legs, firing down to second for the out that is the only ever between the legs caught stealing we've had in banana ball yeah and Daytona felt like five years ago yeah. and we've got Chase Acuff and Dustin Baber in the nest slot with a mind melting behind the back bounce pass to a barehanded Baber to turn two I mean this is one of your favorites Biko correct when I saw it live I did not think there would be a trick play better than that on the tour it turns out we had four of them better and we're counting all three of these backflips in that as just one. You got Reese Hampton on your left, DR Meadows in the middle, Cooper Morgan on the right. Those are the only three banana ballers to ever pull off backflip catches. And now to Ryan Cox. And we love big trick plays and we love trick plays in big situations. And it's Ryan Cox with his 99th, one short of 100th and no bigger on the tour than I think this one to seal the deal and get the bananas a win in Rancho. Yeah, that put the bananas ahead of the party animals for the first time in the win and losses department since March 13th this was at the end of July July 22nd to be exact so that was an absolute doozy now we go to number two on our list it's Coxie once again behind the back to the bounce to the bare hand the glove magician continues to impress he saved one of his best tricks for last yeah when insanely viral got compared to Larry Bird I mean I didn't does. think that there could be any better but why not put Bill Lee on the mound and put Vinny DeRubius in right field Vinny! I loved your call on it. I loved the trick play catch. I know how much, how much he practiced this in BP, and I know the degree of difficulty, and just to get to see him pull it off in that situation, you know, truly just warms the heart. That is the Italian stallion in all of his glory. How about Cooper Morgan in on the fun as well? He hit that one off of Bill Lee, the spaceman. Everything about this is just pure magic. Congratulations once again to Vinny DeRubius for the best trick play here in 2023. Thank you so much to Zappos for loving our ripe rundown as much as we loved making it. And come on in, guys. We got to get the crew in front of the camera because it takes an army to make this thing happen. Chris Sachi, our video legend. Chad Reese, the coordinating producer of BTV. Yvonne Trezak, our coordinating producer of the ripe rundown. We got Mr. Zach Bro, our YouTube legend. And Josh Talevsky, of course, our statistical savant for Cowboy Kyle Lewigs and Kara Heater, our coordinating, supervising, executive producer. I am Biko Scala saying so long for now. We will see you at the World Tour Draft where the entire 2024 Banana Ball schedule will be released on Thursday, October 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern. And of course, 